Welcome, Brackle here. Please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Well, we have breaking news out of Arizona. The investigation of the Uacob papers during the Maricopa County audit. Well, let's get into there this. There was a Senate session last week of which they've been pushing forward a number of bills to shore up and make the choosing process easier and safer. Well, during that session, they had some witnesses, and one of the witnesses was Mr. Harris, who worked the investigation, in particular, of the Uacavas. And what he said is that, well, take a listen to what he had to say. It's quite amazing what he had to say. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and Senators. My name is Paul Harris, and I stand in support of this bill. I'm a Maricopa resident. I live in Peoria. I have 25-plus years in corporate executive management for national companies and brands and organizational process and efficiency processes. So because of my background, I was actually asked to be a manager. My name is on the chain of custody forms of hundreds of thousands of ballots. This is what a ballot looks like that goes out to everybody, right? 11 and a half by 19 ballot. When I opened up the boxes of ballots, this is what a ballot looks like that's a Uacava ballot. You know what that is? That's an eight and a half by 11 white sheet of copy paper. It was such a sham that I had people every day at my tables counting the picture, taking pictures of these ballots that were scanned down. The ballots are scanned. It took my teams three complete days to count all of the Uacaba ballots. You know why? Because in 2016, the numbers were apparently there were 1,600 Uacaba ballots that came back in the most significant election of our lifetime. In 2020, the numbers were close to 9,600 ballots that came back. And I will tell you as an eyewitness, as an eyewitness, 95% because I was asked to tally these personally by the Senate liaisons, all went towards one candidate. Wait a second. Did Mr. Harris say that the uh, Uacava count went up by 8,000 since 2016? And of course we had a pandemic, right? So people were being sent home on massive numbers. So this doesn't seem to add up. Anyhow, we'll see how this continues to develop. But that's all I have for now. Until my next video, God bless.